A special thank you to our sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. More on that later. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to a repot with me. I don't know why I felt the need to turn. I'm still on my coffee today. If y'all watched last week, you will know that today I'm just a little bit all over the place. I don't really have a reason for that. I feel like I need to drink this coffee. I paid for it. It's not the worst. It started off iced, by the way. It's not like freezing cold or anything. It's just not enough milk in it, but never mind. So what are we doing today? Today, we are going to separate this bad boy next to me. You will remember I potted this a while ago. It has since then popped. This is the Aglaonema. Oh my God, what is it? Aglaonema. Manila's Pride, Manila Pride, something along that lines. It's very, very beautiful. We do have a lot of pups. I'm not buzzing. Sorry, that's probably giving people anxiety. I'm not buzzing about the state of the pups, if I'm honest, because they're, they're pretty variegated. Um, some of them are better. There's a pup coming in here that's actually very cute. Some of them are okay. Some of them are a bit too variegated, to be honest, but I'm going to separate them out, do my thing, and we'll just see how it goes. Today will not be a long one. I do have a few different updates for you, but they're just, they're quite small bite-sized updates, really. So today's a very, very casual video. Of course, as always, I need you all to know because I, I do get weird comments from time to time. And that's, to be honest, how I can tell there are new people to the channel. In these videos, I don't necessarily talk about plants. The only planty stuff happening is what I'm doing. So it will usually, usually be about things about my life. Um, it, a lot of the times it has been issues in the plant community, but I, I don't get asked as much of that anymore. I think the community's changed quite a lot. But just so you know, that's what we tend to do here. So if you're wondering why I'm not giving out tips on what I'm doing, that's probably why. Although if something happens, I will give, you know, ad hoc opinions on all of that. Let's just get my gloves back on. Yes, they are used, but I promise you they've only been used for handling lacquer and stuff basically. There's no need for sterilization here. I think people take things sometimes really seriously and it just doesn't need to be guys. These plants, right, can I just say something? Unless you're doing TC or you need to do something really um, specific I suppose or if plants have infections or whatever it, it is really serious. You need to remember that these things just grow out of the ground. Do you really think <laughs> that there isn't risks of camp contamination and stuff like that? when they're doing that. People are a little bit too careful and one of the reasons why I believe personally that I tend to know which plants are hardy is because I treat them all the same wherever, you know, wherever appropriate. So just, I don't need to hear anything about these gloves, right? Are they slightly manky? Only a little, only a little. I'm, I'm not saying these are clean gloves, but what I am saying is it doesn't matter because the substrate I've got here, it's actually a custom mix of something I've been experimenting with. I'll be totally honest, I don't know how this is going to pan out when I check the roots because this was done a while ago. So I want to see what it's like, but we, we don't know. We don't know. Can I put this in something though? Um, two minutes. I should have really thought about that first. Ugh, we'll put it in this pot. Sod it. One day, guys, one day I will have everything I need when I start a video, but it is not this day. Right, so let's do an update. Uh, oh, cat update, cat update, because if you don't already know, I bought... How long have I had them now? Two months? Three months? Two months. I want to say I've had them two months. I bought some gorgeous, oh my god, gorgeous British shorthair kittens. They are two brothers, so they're two boys, um, and I've had them in a little while. And y'all wanted an update. So apart from the fact that I'm absolutely in love with them, I'll give you your update. Let me just work out how difficult this is going to be. Oh, is that a rotten root? Yeah. Okay, that's acceptable. That's okay. Let me just try and how are we going to do this? Maybe I can hover it because this should come out very easily, to be honest. Ooh. Okay. Let's just keep that like that. Right. Okay. So I'm just going to put that in there for now. Right. Lovely, lovely. I'm going to tip this out of here. Oh, so there's no roots in there. It was that one raw root, guys, that's gone right down through it and gone, gone rotty. Rotty? Is that a word? It is now. So I'll put that down there. Just the one root. Right, so the cats. Um, the cats are fine. They're beautiful. Their personalities are really, really coming out now. Well, they're really coming out now. Um, I have... I wouldn't say I've had any issues. I've probably had like one issue. Um, one, in terms of the plants, because it is separate, they're not really, they, they do kind of chew on the plants. Um, if you remember, I have a couple of Kentia palms. I have some Kentia palms. I have some cast iron uh, plants and I have one Calathea orbifolia that I got, right? And <laughs> literally, the orbifolia is ransacked. It is ransacked. One, it's been living in the kitchen and it's too bright for it. But I've been living it in the kitchen just because I haven't found a pot yet to get it into the living room. So when that moves, 
it will be healthy again. But one, it's bleached up to high heaven because it's just had too much light and you can tell it's not happy. And two, the cats just love hanging off it. They love hanging off it. So that looks rough. They do have a go at my cast iron all the time with their paws. It's very cute. They just sort of sit there and just literally do that without claws out. It's very cute. They literally just, you know, like how you, I don't know what the name for it is, that little punching bag where you do that. They kind of do that. So they do that with that, but that's held up fine. And the Kentia is fine. I think Billy likes to chew on it a little bit here and there, but it's fine. They, they don't really, I think they get it and they chew, but they don't eat it, if that makes sense. Have a chew and then they stop. So I don't know if it tastes bad or whatever. So that is absolutely fine. The only issues I would say that I've had with them are Teddy specifically really is peeing a lot on places that aren't the litter box. Now then, now then, I have, and I will do a full video on this eventually, by the way, guys. Um, it's not that you won't get a kitten update video. I just think they need to be a bit older than what they are. I can't just keep doing them. But I've had issues with Teddy peeing outside of his litter box. And it, it there is a pattern, really. It tends to be on a mat. For whatever reason, it's on a mat. So he's not just doing it literally anywhere. He's doing it on a mat. He did do it in my duffel bag once. And that was a really interesting day. So so I'm not going to embarrass her because no one knows who she is. But I know someone that something similar happened to, right, a few months ago. And I found this so funny. I was literally, I was crying laughing. Right? I was crying laughing. I thought it was the best thing ever. I don't know why I just did. But she was going on holiday and her cat essentially weed in her suitcase and it was a disaster, right? But I just found it hilarious. I don't know why I found that so funny because it happened to me about two weeks ago. Teddy jumped into a bag that I had that was my duffel bag, right? That I used to go between here and basically the livery and home, right? So I had three different things. So I guess you could say it probably smelled of different scents, specifically horse, 100%. So Teddy obviously thought, hmm, don't like that. Could do something about that. And he peed in it, which was fine, except it had all my livery clothes in there. And funny enough, it had these very trousers on. Trousers, jodhpurs. I have washed them, by the way. You can't really see them. Here they are, okay? And I put them on and there was a lovely wet patch here and I was like, that's really damp. Why are they not washed properly? Because they, they were clean. Um, but it wasn't. It was wee because I had to smell it. Cat wee's got a really weird smell. It's got a really, really weird fragrance to it. But now I know all about that. So anyway, it happened to me. So Teddy does do that. I got an extra litter box. They have two litter boxes. I did put a third in. It hasn't really stopped it. At the moment, I took them to the vet uh, to have them neutered. And basically the vet were like, and basically the vet said balls were too small, <laughs> essentially. Um, I should have got a second opinion on that, but I haven't anyway. I haven't had the time. So at the moment, they're still unmuted and Teddy still wheezes. Billy doesn't seem to do it as much, but Billy's also the more dominant one. I don't know. Um, I did say, look, could it be anything else? Blah, blah, blah. And that was like, well, we need to do some tests down the line. If it doesn't go away from neutering, then obviously it might be another issue because he doesn't seem to have any other problems. He seems like himself, whatever else. Um, so... I'm going to get them neutered, and if there is still a problem that persists after that, i.e. this is not territory, then I will deal with that separately. And that's just the advice of my vet. Um, so that's that anyway. Apart from the peeing on things, because he did it on my bath mat yesterday. It was great. Uh, where is this? I'm going to cut this, by the way, because they sort of grow from out with it, and it's probably going to go wrong, so I'm going to take some time doing it. I appreciate you can't see it. I'm really sorry. That's not really what these videos are for, though, is it? Anyway, I'll try and zoom in a bit, so you might not see me. Um, so apart from that, it's been fine, apart from peeing on the odd mat. The doormat specifically he loves. Luckily, my doormat, it's in integrated with my floor but you can just lift it out it's like my wood floor has a cutout for a doormat and you lift it out it's really thick thick coir doormat it's about an inch thick so it's really good so he loves to wee on that he thinks it's the best thing ever but apart from that they're absolutely fine they are oh my god they, they've just really come into their own and they were very cuddly and affectionate before now jesus it's like they're not even cats guys it's like they're not even cats they behave more like dogs it's really bizarre. Obviously, Ben's been around a few times here and there. And you walk into the house and they will greet you by rolling on their back, literally on the floor, just rolling, just spread eagle on their back. And they want you to rub their bellies. They don't care. And they'll even do that really around people they don't know entirely that well. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. If you're looking for a fast and reliable way to create and run your own website, you should give Squarespace a try. Squarespace is an all-in-one solution for creating your own website from scratch using a variety of modern and sleek templates. They're really customizable so you can have a website that's unique to your brand in no time. I've used Squarespace now for well over a year for the Red Plant Shop and it's working really, really well for me. Squarespace have so many templates. They're not dated looking, they're not all the same with just the fonts and colors switched out, 
layout, they're really unique. You're bound to find a layout that really appeals to you as a starting point. Then of course you can customize and go from there. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for an online store or maybe you're working on your own blog, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's it from me guys, back to the video. So they're the most beautiful cats, but I don't want to give too much of an update now because one, it would take literally the whole video. Um, and two, I will do an update on it, just to, like take you along through it. But they're doing great. They're gaining loads of weight in a good way. I think Billy's about three kilograms now. Kind of sizable for a kitten. Teddy's coming up a little bit behind him. He's about two and a half. Um, but they're, they're going really well. So that is my little update. Yes, they do pee. I've tried all the deodorizers, by, deodorizers, by the way. I've tried the, is it Feliway plugins? It's not massively helping. It does reduce it, but it's not stopping it. There is still a certain time of night where he, I know he likes to pee there at 10 p.m. each night because it's as I'm going to bed. Um, but yeah, I have tried the things. I've looked at all the advice. I've watched all the Jackson Galaxy videos. Like, I'm, I'm doing my bit, right? But this could just be an issue because it's two boys and Billy is very dominant. Like, I feed them and I'm having to be mindful when Billy's there and make sure that Billy doesn't try and get Teddy's food when he's finished and stuff like that. I will literally stand over Teddy and just push Billy away sometimes. Um, so I'm handling that. But we'll see what happens after they've been nude. So that's that. Let me try and make some cuts before I keep going because we'll never get anywhere. I'm going to have to cut this close to the base. I'm so sorry you're not going to be able to see this at all. I do apologize, guys. But it is what it is. It's just, aha. You know what? That actually worked really well. Oh my god. That's the only roots I can get on that. And I think I've nearly nuked a root there. But that is literally where it connected to the plant. Although there, there's a new growth bud anyway that I hopefully have not severed. So that should be all right. This one will be very easy to cut off. So, so what other updates do I have for you? Let's have a look. Because one of them is driving. Driving update. Okay. So if you don't know me, hi, I'm Kaylee Ellen. I can't drive. I'm 33 years old. Yes, thank you. I know I get a lot of comments saying, oh my God, I didn't know you were 33. I do a lot to try and make that happen though. So, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Um, so I can't drive. The reasons for that are, ugh, I lived in a city. I moved to another city. I went to uni. I never needed to drive. I never needed to drive. I just didn't go down that route. And then when I, obviously I moved to Manchester when I moved to Salford to do my programming job. Literally, I didn't need to drive. It was a 10 minute walk to work and that's in busy Manchester with um, traffic, lights and stuff. So I didn't need to. Obviously I've moved out here, I've got my own house now. So I've been learning to drive and I, I haven't done so well. I'm going to be honest, uh, I've, I'm a really nervous person. I didn't realize I was this nervous, but my gosh, it's been a problem. I'm really nervous. And it's got to the point actually where I've switched from manual to automatic. But I just want to tell people about it because there was so there was a lot of mixed opinions before I switched to automatic. There was a lot of mixed opinions. Um, and it might have some ramifications. I can't speak today. It might have some ramifications for me down the line in terms of if I need to like tow a horse box or something like that, maybe. But other than that... I can't see myself being cock blocked too much. Maybe there might be an issue driving vans if I can't get an automatic van to do something, but it's fine. I might go back and do a manual after I've done the automatic if I need it. You know, it's getting in the way. That's fine. But for now, I've actually switched to automatic. And the reasons for that is that I was just, I was going out on the roads. I felt I was going out on the roads a little bit early, but I, my nerves were so bad. I, I couldn't focus on what was happening outside the car because the process of just sort of setting off and stuff like that and clutch control. It wasn't down. It just wasn't down with me. And as a result, I like, it was just awful. I was just having the worst time. Like, I'd get th like three quarters through a driving lesson and my voice would be cracking because I feel like I'm ready to cry. I was really, really worked up. As soon as I've switched to automatic, none of those problems. Because by the way, if you switch to automatic, if you're having the same problems, and this is why I want to talk about it briefly, just to let you know that you can absolutely do it. I'm doing it. But it's a little bit like switching to automatic is a little bit like if you've been learning manual and all of the gear changing, clutch control, handbrake, everything. Imagine that's now all on autopilot and you don't think about it. That's basically driving automatic. So it just takes that part away. So I've done that. Guys, I've went from, I'll be honest, if I'm brutally honest with you, semi-dreading driving lessons to actually being really excited for them. So that's really good. So I do that now and I'm actually up to two lessons a week. I was able to get an extra slot. That's awesome. So I'm doing that each week, do two lessons. I do one on a Tuesday and one on a Friday. 
great. Um, and I get the time slot where the school run is. I do it from 7.30 till 9 in the morning. And I don't mind it. It's good tests. Lots of hazards. Um, so I'm doing that anyway. But I wanted to tell people that because if you guys are struggling with a manual switch, my, my lesson prices are the same. It's not different. It literally just takes away that part. If you're doing driving lessons and you think, I don't think this is for me, I, I you know, I, I can't get to grips with this, then just switch. Literally, cars are going that way nowadays anyway. So I just want to say that really quickly because I know there's a lot of people out there learning to drive and, you know, it might be a thing for you. I don't know if in the US you guys do more automatic anyway. I don't know if I actually know that. I can't speak. Why can't I speak today? What is going on? I was like this in the last video. I don't know if most cars over in the US are automatic anyway. I don't know. Sorry, we're really zoomed out. Let me just... Can I just zoom you in a little bit? How about that? Is that better? Mm, no, now I've cut my head off. <laughs> Maybe there. Is that any better? That's better, isn't it? As long as I don't stand up too tall. So, yeah. If I stand there, mm, mm, I'm going to zoom out slightly. Sorry, guys. I am a bit of a stickler for this sort of shit. So, what was I saying? Yes, I wanted to tell you that just in case anyone was thinking about that. Don't be afraid to do that because I have done it and I already feel better. Um, as, as it happens, I do have a car that I can practice in because that's another problem I had. I thought, oh God, if I switch, can't practice because... I have a car that this company runs, basically, that obviously I can't drive. I can't drive. Um, so Ben drives that. And I did one sort of little practice run in that. And it was it was all right, actually. I, in, a, in a way, I actually got to grips with it faster than the car, which doesn't make any sense. And that's like a big Land Rover thing. And I thought, oh, God, when I've switched, how am I going to get my practice in? But I've sorted something, so that's great. So I can still practice in my automatic. So I'm going to do a practice lesson today. I'm very excited. First time in that car as well. So, yeah. That's my driving update. I've switched. I'm on two lessons a week. My theory is booked for the 14th of August. So hopefully I will pass that because I think I will. I'll tell you something though. When you switch to automatic, you still get your normal theory test, right? And I know you're thinking, well, yeah. However, there's a lot of questions on that theory test that actually pertain to a manual car. Like in terms of like driving in the snow, select obviously a high gear, stuff like that. So if you do switch, just be mindful of that. And don't just read the highway code. Actually do all of the mock tests on the apps and stuff like that. I, I realize this might only apply to people in the UK, but keep doing the mock tests because you are going to need to know those answers. I don't think I'm going to get out of anything just because I'm doing automatic. I think I still need to know that. So just let me know that that is the case. You know what? I would love, 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 love to cut this and propagate from this because it's nice and tall. But I'm not going to do that because I don't, I don't have any faith. Oh, we have the teeniest bit of root rot. Just a teeny bit extra from what I mentioned before. Oh, and I've just snapped that. So I lied. We have a couple of roots that have gone, but literally a couple. Right, what other updates I had for you? Like I said, it was just a load of bite-sized updates for you today. Uh, tattoo. Mm, the tattoo. Okay, the tattoo. Let me get for you. Well, it's not for you, is it? Let me get some, get some lecker in. Right, the tattoo. Okay, so in some videos, notice it is not present today. You may have seen a tattoo on my forearm. Um, I want to talk to you about it a little bit just because people are like, oh, have you picked out a design? What's the deal with the tattoo? Have I missed something? What's going on? It looked different. Why does it look like this? So the, the, the tea is basically, and I know I covered this the last report, but not everyone will have seen it. I'm probably going to get a tattoo here, um, but I don't know what it is yet, basically. Um, if you want the further information, it's to cover up some scars here. I just thought I'd say it because I know a lot of people are like, oh, can we can we ask about that? You absolutely can. That's not a problem. So I have some old self-harm scars here, basically. You probably probably seen them guys in most of my videos i don't hide them or anything i don't like to shove them in your face but they're there um this arm is the worst because when i used to suffer from it i am right-handed so that's why this arm is worse but recently i've decided i want to cover them up and a lot of people have asked me like in my life have asked me oh are you okay because you want to cover them up like you're now like feeling bad and what i actually want to i want to explain this because if anyone else wants to cover up theirs I think you should absolutely be able to cover them up. The reason I want to cover mine up is actually for a good reason. And I want to just get this out of the way because I've always preached on this channel, hey, here I am, this is me, deal with it or go, you know, that's fine. It's actually got nothing to do with that. And the reason I want to cover it up, in my opinion, guys, is actually a really positive reason. And the reason is, sorry, I was just seeing if there's any extra aglaonema. Can I pull this out of here? Because that'd be great if I could. Two seconds. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to get a bonus aglaonema out of another pot. Woo. So the reason for that is, since I've gone to the gym, since I've got fit, since I've done all of the things, I've actually felt better in myself in terms of my actual body and like the skin that I'm in. Some ways I felt less confident. Some of that's just very stereotypical, like, oh, I'm getting older type thing. Um, but in a lot of senses, I actually feel very, like, I feel more proud of my body. So I don't want anybody to think that me covering them up is actually a bad thing because it's not. 
I actually am more proud of how I look and I'm wanting to add to that. Does that make any sense? Like I don't want anybody to think I'm suddenly really ashamed or there's something going on or anything like that. It's genuinely a positive reason that I want to put a tattoo there. And I don't know if everyone's going to understand that. I, I understand. <laughs> I understand that you may not understand, but it's just something I really felt the want to do as well. I have a couple of, I'll never show you them. You'll never see them. But I have a couple of other tattoos that I got way back when. They're what you call kitchen tattoos. They're really bad. They're not anywhere that you'd ever see. They're not in rude places or anything. You would never see them. Um, and I want those covered up too. So it's part of, an, of, of a different thing. It's part of just operation, let's make tattoos nice. But it is something I wanted to do. But I promise you, it's for a good reason, not a bad reason. Um, I haven't just suddenly felt ashamed. I just, I just look and think, oh no, actually, you know, do I want to make that look better? And that's part of the reason why I've been putting temporaries on to see what, not really what the tattoo is, but more like the line density, where it is, like stuff like that. Like, can I handle a tattoo on here? For example, if I put a tattoo on, would it draw more attention to it? And then I wouldn't like it because then people are looking at the tattoo. Do you know what I mean? Or would it be better? And I have found through putting them on that I do actually feel better about it. So hang on. Eh, this might get noisy. So given that, I'm going to get a tattoo at some point, I think. It's not going to be overnight because obviously you shouldn't rush things like that, especially when it's here. But I think I'm going to get one. I don't know what I want yet. It'll probably, because somebody asked me like, oh, is it going to be planty? It'll probably be floral for sure. Um, but I think it'd be quite generic. I don't think I want anything with a, like a ridiculous amount of like line work or anything. I don't think I'd want to do that. So it's going to have to be something a bit dainty, but you know, it's still got to cover the scars. Otherwise, there's not a lot of point. I certainly don't want to draw attention to them because that would just be weird, to be honest. Um, so I don't know what the design is yet. So you'll probably see a lot more temps going on, but they're probably generally floral because that's basically what I'm testing at the moment just to see what that is like. But so far, I am liking what I'm feeling when I have a tattoo there. Um, it is just a case of design. So... Other updates I have for you. One is Invisalign, I do believe. Yes, okay. So the Invisalign update, I actually have hardly any nuggets on my top teeth at the moment. I'm not going to come right at you because I've been having coffee. These teeth here, these are mine. There's like a couple of nuggets on the side, but generally there's nothing on here because I got so sick of having huge, big, bulky nuggets on. I, oh, there's no Invisalign on now either, by the way. It should be on, but it's not on. I got so sick of having big chunks. I literally got a comment on a video like a few weeks ago. Hey, you should really change out the color of your braces because it looks weird. And I was like, okay, now we've got to the point where it looks like a brace. This is not why I paid for Invisalign, obviously. So you will take them off. So I'm still going to go forward with Invisalign. I've got probably one more round because these are just, this side just hasn't quite moved into place. And then, I know I say this every time, but then I should be done. Um, and then it's cosmetics time. Because you might be thinking, and, and I would agree with you, to be fair, that my teeth used to look a lot straighter than what they do now. Because I would definitely agree with that. That's because they used to be aligned via the bottom of the tooth. But a new dentist has come along and aligned them via the gum. So it means when the gum's all in line, all of the wear on my teeth from being in the wrong place, it makes them look wonky. So I look like I've got one tooth longer than the other. And believe me, guys, you can make fun if you like. Not that I think you would, but it doesn't bother anybody more than it bothers me. So just just sleep knowing that, you know what I mean? It drives me insane. But it's what you got to do, and you've got to think of the end result. So that's the Invisalign saga. They might, when they give me a new set of trays, they might say, hey, we have to put nuggets back on. And I'm like, okay, fine. I call attachments nuggets, by the way. I'm well seasoned at Invisalign now. What's it been, like three years or something? Jesus. Or has it been two years? Two years? I don't know. Been on it a long time. Um, I'll do a video on my channel about it at some point, I think. Because why not? Right, that's those props done. We just need to do the big one. Uh, another question I got, I've got a few questions. And I, again, I know I covered this ever so slightly last time about the horse, but not the old horse. But questions about the new horse. And again, I'm, I don't, I don't, I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm waiting for. I, I don't know what I'm waiting for. Um, but a few people have said, hey, we've seen that you're riding a horse on your Instagram, who is he? He's very nice. He is a he, by the way. Um, that's my boy. That's my beautiful boy. I'm gonna go and see him after I finished with you guys. That's why I am in riding gear. Oh, should be a bit more flexible than that. Cause you know what, right? I will say this about my pony. He's 14-1, right? And I still can't mount. 
I can't mount him myself. That could be because of my stirrup length. Okay, I get that. But I still can't quite, you know, it's just, maybe it's because of the long boots, maybe, I, I don't know. But I still just can't uh, get in there. If I stand on like a curb or something and it literally raises me that much, I can get on by myself. But I still have to use a mountain block for a 14-1 pony. Tell me it's going to get better, guys. Tell me it's going to get better because I, I can't believe I can't mount that. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I, I want to say it's down to bad flexibility, right? But I don't know. Right, this is going back in here and I'm going to line it slightly with lecker. Just slightly in the bottom, I think. Bosh, or oh, a little bit more. So yeah, people were like, oh, tell me about him. Um, I'd, how do you think I should do this, guys? Because not everyone wants to know about him. Not everyone cares. That's absolutely valid, by the way. You don't have to care. So I don't really know how to go about this, guys, because I understand that not everyone cares about him. Not everyone wants to know about him. And that's totally valid, by the way. Don't feel like you're an asshole for saying that. You don't have to care. This isn't a horse channel, right? You don't have to. That's, that's, I don't think that's very drinkable anymore. I'm going to stop bringing this. Mm, 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 I don't know. Anyway. So I don't know who wants to know who cares or, or how you think I should do it. Um, if, I don't know. I, I'm not keeping him from you. I've said this a few times. Like, hey, he is on the internet. If you want to find him, he is completely on the internet. He has an Instagram. He has a YouTube channel, by the way, um, which is something I always planned on sharing with you. It was just a case of right time, right place, something to share with you, really. So I... I don't really know how to do it is, is I guess what I'm saying. Um, and the day I do do it, it's still going to be a shock to some people because I know that not everyone watches these videos. So some people are going to be like, wait, what, what? Um, but yeah, I do have a new horse. He is the best thing apart from maybe the cats that's ever happened to me. I am obsessed with that little boy. He is everything. Bless his soul. He is everything that Oggy is not. Um, of which I haven't heard anything, by the way, because as I said, when Oggy, oops, when Oggy moves livery, it, uh, the updates will probably go dark, but I presume he's fine. Um, but he's just the opposite. And I knew the day I met him, I went to meet him. I'd, I'd had a, a wild ride and I, I'm going to have to tell you about that whole story of, of looking for another horse because I've obviously I've, I've gone through that again and it was a lot. It was a lot. And I remember the day I met him and Ben was with me and I met him. I just turned to Ben. I just had this expression on my face. <sighs> Oh, emotional, literally. But I had this expression on my face and it, I just knew. I just knew I hadn't even got on yet. I just knew. I knew from the the interpersonal reaction we had on the ground. Interpersonal is a weird way to talk about a horse. Totally get that. This is my software engineering aspect of me coming in. Very clinical. But the way that we met each other and how he was, I, I remember turning to Ben and I just looked and I gave him the look as if to go, I think this is this is the one. So, but anyway, so he's everything. Little, little logs, bless his soul, is not... Um, you know, I'll never speak badly of Oggy, but you get the point. He, what, he wasn't the horse for me. This boy is just, oh my God. Oh, I could just go on about him all day. He's, he's just the best thing that's ever happened to me, honestly. So he makes three boys. Um, obviously the cats would be the other two boys. And I'm all boyed up now. Like that, that's me done. Um, I don't need children. I have three animals and they take up everything I've got and they take up all my free time, which is exactly what I wanted. This is what I wanted. So I'm very happy about that. Um, and I'd do anything for any of them. You know, they eat before I do, all the rest, all the rest. It's why I go to work. I have a purpose and it's it's awesome. So we're loving him. But yeah, uh, again, I don't want to tell you too much about him because it's like, how do I do it? When do I do it? Do you want a video? What do you want from me? Um, but let me know if you can think of anything. And I'm, I am up for it, to be honest. This has just gone straight back in here, by the way. It's cut off the pups. But yeah, I, I have him and I love him. And he is... He's a little boy, but he's he's chunky and he's built chunky. The breed is built chunky. So if you would like to guess what breed he is, um, I will put a video or two of him in here. Um, he's, he's probably come in either side of me when I've been talking. Um, if you can guess what breed he is, A star for you. Um, but yeah, he's, he's incredible. He's absolutely incredible. I love him. Anyway, I'm not going to keep on going on because I will talk about him all day. I will literally talk about him all day. Um, yeah. So let me know if you've got any ideas on that. I'm, I'm totally open to it. Right. Was there anything else? Yeah, but nothing, nothing major anyway. Someone said Barbie or Oppenheimer. Obviously Oppenheimer. 
Uh, I don't know if you can tell. Maybe maybe that might be a struggle for some of you, but I'm not actually that girly. I'm a bit of a tomboy. Past putting on the good old makeup, I'm actually not that girly at all. Uh, I did love Barbie growing up, don't get me wrong, but I just, I don't know, it, it doesn't, there's nothing about it that screams nostalgia to me to watch the movie. It's not that I won't watch the movie. No doubt I will at some point. I probably wouldn't pay to go and see it. Again, not ragging on it, not hating on it. I'm just not that girly. Pink is my least favorite color, so that's fun. Uh, Oppenheimer, I definitely want to watch. And I was going to watch it the other day, but my God, it's booked out in all the cinemas. Now, I'm not saying like you can't get a ticket, but every time I've gone to look and I've gone to look a little bit more short notice, there's been sold out. So I'm like, oh, okay. But I will see that at some point, of course, of course. So yeah, I'm going to take these off now. I think that's it done. I've got an errand to run now. So thank you very much for watching this little update. I know it's very minimal. It's very chatty. It's very whatever. These are all cut now. Uh, apologies if you couldn't see much. I know people tell me to stop apologizing, but I do think that's a valid apology to make because you couldn't see much. He's just gone back how he is. Again, he's quite variegated. He's pushing out some less variegated stuff. That's fine. I'm hoping that he makes some roots or something to just lob the head off and grow from that. Otherwise, we have some propagations. This, not great. Um, this, possibly not great. It might go a little bit too green. And the rest of these, maybe this is quite viable here, but a lot of these are looking a bit too variegated. So we'll see what happens with them. But anyway, thank you very much for watching this repot with me. Any comments you'd like to leave on anything down below? I love reading them. I genuinely love reading them. So that's it for this week's video, guys. I will love you and leave you. And I will see you in the next video. Any requests you've got for content, by the way, leave them down below. I know I occasionally put stuff out on Instagram for that, but if you'd like to leave one here, that's fine as well. I don't mind. I read everything. So yeah, that's it for this week's video. I'll love you and leave you. And See you next week. Bye, guys.